I'm so proud to talk about uh, my favorite pillar in this purpose statement, uh, inclusivity. To me, it's uplifting quality of lives of, of people, you know, making them uh, entrepreneurs, ownership, you know, sharing ownership, rather than them being laborers or, or workers or employees in the, in the business model. Always I give this example in various forums, forums with a lot of pride. Uh, Haley's being the largest exporter of processed vegetables from, from Sri Lanka. We are talking about one product called gherkins, you know, this small cucumber, which we export in a pickle form or in brine. We don't grow gherkin, you know, we don't have a single vine. It's, we work with about 12,000 outgrowers. And uh, these are not large farms. Uh, so we are talking about half an acre to three quarter acre, which gives them an additional income, largely from rural areas, hinterland like Kirandru Kote, Polondarua. So, so imagine this gherkin comes from these farmers. We process it and take it to the market internationally. And imagine this gherkin grown in the backyard of a rural farmer in Sri Lanka, in Mingampina hamburger in Tokyo or, or in, in, in Singapore. So, so this is the uh, type of business models we talk with inclusivity. And another good example is uh, this Haritangara. This Hekab, they are charcoal suppliers. You know, they have encouraged them to invest in these pits to convert coconut shell to charcoal in a very much environmental friendly manner and you know some of them are large entrepreneurs today you see so if you ask me one thing i'm really proud of Haley's and being part of Haley's is uh, this inclusivity they are wherever Haley's could uh, you know drive inclusivity in our business models <laughs>